The most basic need for all living creatures is simply food. The secrets of food security in developed countries are that they have completed their food storage infrastructure and have already developed a culture of food storage and processing. You can find any kind of food in every region of the developed countries. Food prices vary slightly throughout the year, which makes market prices stable. Food security is a term used to describe the continuous supply of healthy food at affordable prices. When we look at the food pyramid that shows the foods most consumed by humans, we find that 70% of the most important foods for proper nutrition require cold storage. This 70% include the main food groups such as proteins, vitamins, and minerals, which are indispensable to maintain a healthy physical and mental activity. In developing countries, the culture of food storage has unfortunately not been developed and, furthermore, no infrastructure is established to store foodstuffs in cold stores. In developed countries of Europe, there's one cubic meter of refrigerated warehouses for every three people. While it is estimated that this number increases to one cubic meter to 1,000 people in African countries. Meat, fish, poultry, dairy products, baked goods, vegetables and fruits can be stored for months or even years without losing their freshness in a frozen mode or cold environment. The energy cost of frigiferic storage of foodstuffs is very moderate. The energy cost of storing one kilogram of apple in cold storage for one season does not exceed one cent. In order to keep the price of food obtained from agriculture and food processing in reasonable limits, it is necessary to store those products in large quantities. Food storage is a strategic investment. If you do not have the infrastructure to store the food you produce, food prices will go down too much on the harvest time, and later, after a short while, they will increase resulting to black market due to the decrease in product existence in the market. If you have storehouses, but not with enough capacity, food prices will rise again throughout the year. If your storage capacity is sufficient and your storage techniques are in good shape and conditions and can keep food prices constant throughout the year, and in this way, you will also ensure food safety. Even the capacity of your storehouse is sufficient, the market value of the products still always destined to decrease if your storage techniques are not capable to protect the quality of the food. Every single person who wants to earn more money for its food production and export its commodities has to establish value-adding systems, such as packaging and processing instead of selling its products in their raw form. Agriculture is the key sector for investment to achieve long-term food security as well as reducing poverty levels. The agricultural sector needs to be transformed from substance farming to market-oriented commercial enterprises. The infrastructure enabling to transform the raw products into processed commodities is the key factor to assure the food security. The Food Centers Project is designed for the purpose of providing people with continuous flow of healthy food at affordable prices, as well as creating export opportunities due to the modern processing and storage facilities, which result adequate saving and protection of production surplus. Moreover, the fact that processed food increases in value will lead to a more profitable trade activity. The project mostly relying on cold storage facilities with a proportion of 70% of overall buildings combines perfectly modern processing areas with large zones of storage. It is crucial to be able to store the produced food, but it is much more important to process food in order to add value to the raw commodities. The Food Centers Project is a strongly strategical investment in order to permanently provide healthy food at lower costs. In brief, it is one of the most rational investments never to underestimate for the food security.
The food centers are designed to ensure food security by meeting the needs of food processing and storage facilities in the areas where they are located. The Small Food Center It is envisaged to establish a cold warehouse of 2,500 tons for the storage of frozen and cold foods. There will also be expansion spaces and natural storage rooms with 1,000 tons capacity. The Small Food Center will include 10 facilities dedicated to food processing too. The indoor area of the Small Food Center is 5,800 square meters, and the indoor area of the food processing section is 3,750 square meters. The food center, with a total indoor space capacity of 9,550 square meters, will offer both a management building of 300 square meters and a technical assistance building of 250 square meters. There will be in the food processing department six sections of 150 square meters and four sections of 300 square meters. The facility will rise on an area of 30,000 square meters. The Medium Food Center the Medium Food Center is twice as large as the Small Food Center. It is envisaged to establish a cold warehouse of 5,000 tons for the storage of frozen and cold foods. There will also be expansion spaces and natural storage rooms with 2,000 tons capacity. The Medium Food Center will include 20 facilities dedicated to food processing too. The indoor area of the Small Food Center is 11,600 square meters and the indoor area of the food processing section is 7,500 square meters. The food center with a total indoor space capacity of 19,100 square meters will offer both a management building of 500 square meters and a technical assistance building of 400 square meters. There will be in the food processing department 12 sections of 150 square meters and eight sections of 300 square meters. The facility will rise on an area of 50,000 square meters. The Big Food Center The large food center is, in its turn, twice as large as the medium-sized facility. It is envisaged to establish a cold warehouse of 10,000 tons for the storage of frozen and cold foods. There will also be expansion spaces and natural storage rooms with 4,000 tons capacity. The Medium Food Center will include 40 facilities dedicated to food processing too. The indoor area of the Small Food Center is 23,200 square meters. In the indoor area of the food processing section is 15,000 square meters. The food center, with a total indoor space capacity of 38,200 square meters, will offer both a management building of 800 square meters and a technical assistance building of 700 square meters. There will be in the food processing department 24 sections of 150 square meters and 16 sections of 300 square meters. The facility will rise on an area of 90,000 square meters. Uninterruptible power supply with an electric generator available. Clean water. Security. Security walls and camera monitoring. Communication services. Telephone, internet, and TV. Social services eating and drinking sections, meeting rooms, and a prayer room. Food safety services such as cleaning, waste collection and disinfection, a weigh bridge and scales, and the technical services will be provided as standard in all food centers. The benefits of the food center for those who buy food products. In food centers, the buyers can get all kinds of food at affordable prices. They can obtain healthy and hygienic foods. They can have access to a wide variety of foods and they can find all types of food continuously throughout the year. The benefits of the food center for its users. The tenants can start doing business immediately without having to go through any procedure. They are advantageous in the competition as they do not invest for whole installation. They can work safely in every sense of the word. They benefit from the commercial attraction created by the food center. They can solve all their problems only through the management of the food center. They can find what they need in the food center. Thanks to the large storage spaces, they can grow their business as much as they want. It should be kept in mind that the facilities will also need forklifts, refrigerated trucks, rack systems, crates, and pallets. Food centers that will provide direct employment for 150 to 500 people each when they have been completed and are fully operational will also add value by ensuring that agricultural producers in their immediate vicinity are able to evaluate their labor and crops. 
This project, therefore, being also a social project, will also bring life to social peace, people's well-being, and the country's economy. We think that continuous access to the healthy food, which is the main need and right of a human being, must be no longer an issue for the humanity. We imagine a much better future where every single child on earth will be adequately fed and the danger of hunger will not even come into question. And we do continue to preserve our food. Because we know it well, a better future is in our hands. We only need to protect our food and use our energy wisely. This project is prepared by the Dijon Tech Science, Culture, and Education Foundation, of which Dijon Tech Group, which has been operating in the food processing and storage sector for more than 25 years, with 13,000 customers in 50 countries, is the main partner.